Hi, everybody. I hope your classes are going well. I am lucky enough to be teaching intermediate at two different spots this fall. I'm teaching at Palo Verde Family Resource Center and Murphy Wilmot Library. And Palo Verde has chosen the school success unit and Murphy Wilmot has chosen the health unit. And English Unlocked has been a really helpful starting place for me, but it is not at all perfect as I'm sure you've realized. Um, I really like how the texts can spark conversations, but I really wish there was more speaking and listening. So in this video, I'm going to share about how I've spiced up those English Unlocked lessons in my lesson planning to integrate more speaking and listening with some easy to use routines that I just plug and play into my lesson plans. And so I hope these ideas will save you some lesson planning time and help you meet your students' needs. And I'm going to link uh, steps or descriptions for each of these routines in the newsletter. So the first routine I've added is picture sentences, which you may be familiar with from the summer lesson plans. I use a super awesome resource from the New York Times called What's Going On in This Picture. Um, I choose one that matches the class theme. And the routine takes about 15 minutes. So first, I have students write about what they see for five minutes, and then talk to their table about the image for five minutes, and then share out as a whole class for five minutes. And my goal is just to get students talking to each other, feeling confident, and thinking about the day's topic. This routine adds a really nice 15 minutes of, of authentic student communication that is lacking in the English Unlocked lessons. Another favorite is Around the Room, which you might remember from Foundations 2. On Zoom, it's Around the Zoom. Um, I take discussion questions or vocabulary words from the English Unlocked lessons, and I write each one on a piece of paper, which I put up around the room. Uh, and then pairs stand up and go to a paper, talk about the prompt for two minutes, and then switch to the next paper. And I love this routine because it's a great change of pace from sitting at their tables and talking to their table mates. And it helps me break up those groups that always tend to sit together. Another way I take the existing English Unlocked prompts and liven them up is speaking lines or speed dating on Zoom. So I'll take the questions from English Unlocked and I'll give students a minute or two to think about their answers so they're ready when we jump into the activity. And then they all stand up and stand in two lines facing each other. They talk with their partner for about one minute, maybe two, whatever I decide. And then one line shifts one person to the left so that everyone now has a new partner. And they talk about the same question again. So it's a fantastic way to build in fluency practice, repetition, movement, community building, using the existing curriculum prompts. Finally, I love to plug in my dialogue to role play routine when it's time to move from texts and vocab into real world conversations. After reading a text and doing the English Unlocked vocabulary activity this week, we moved into writing dialogues. And I really love making the students write the dialogues instead of using a pre-written one because it helps me see where the students are at. It makes them do the work and it's more interesting for them because it's their words. In my Palo Verde class, we wrote the dialogue together on the board. Students told me what to write and they did a great job, as you can see in this photo. We ran out of time, so their homework is to send me a voice message on WhatsApp of them practicing the conversation with someone in their house. At Murphy Wilmot, I mixed it up a little bit and each pair wrote their own dialogue. And um, we have uh, me and two apprentices, Mary and Kathy, um, in that class. And so we were able to circulate and uh, support the students with grammar and vocabulary while they were writing so that when it was time for them to come up in class and perform, they were, they were confident um, and what they had written was accurate in terms of um, vocabulary and grammar. In both classes, the last step, which we'll do on Monday, will be for them to do role plays, which is when they're acting out the scenario without a script. So for example, you're the doctor, you're the patient, go. And they just imagine the conversation. 
By this point, they've had lots of practice with the content of the dialogue and they're ready to try that real world communication without a script. And this dialogue to role play routine can easily take up 30 minutes or more of class time. And that's 30 minutes of pure focused student talk time that can break up the reading and writing of the English Unlocked curriculum. All of these routines take very little prep time for me because the material comes from the curriculum. And since I always do the routines in the same way, I can just plug in the steps and adjust the content. I hope you'll find them helpful and that you'll be able to join us for the Boost Student Engagement with Routines Continuing Education session on November 8th from 1230 to 2 on Zoom. And you can find the link to RSVP for that session in the newsletter. Have a great month.